Buenos dias, hello everyone. This is Glenn Irvin, Irv Spanish, and this is lesson number two in our series for Nearpod and how to get started. And what we wanna go ahead and show you here is the ability for you to go ahead and deliver a lesson in either teacher paced, so you're in class and you're delivering a lesson and your students are actively engaged in that lesson at the exact same time, so synchronous lesson. Or maybe you want it to be student paced and that would be an asynchronous type of lesson where you give them your presentation materials, the activities and anything else and they interact with those materials at their own leisure. So something like an e-learning day or something like that would be perfect for a student paced lesson. So in order to create a lesson inside of Nearpod, it's really super simple. Once you're logged in, you click this plus button and then it'll say, hey, I wanna create a lesson in Google Slides a lesson inside of Nearpod, and then it has a couple of other options. So really it's one of these two. Once you create your lesson though, here's the big thing that you have to decide. Am I gonna deliver this uh, as a synchronous activity or is it going to be an asynchronous activity? And then I'm gonna show you how to do both here. So once you save your lesson, it'll appear inside of this kind of uh, area here when you log in, kind of your home area. And you can place your, your uh, lessons inside of folders. Um, but really once you hover over a lesson, a couple of different things pop up. And this is really what we're talking about here. There's a live lesson button and then there's a student paste button. Let's click the live lesson button and see what happens. When I click live lesson, it says, hey, do you want me to li uh, launch a new live session? Since I, I currently actually have this launched, it says, do you want me to do a new one? If I click launch new live session, basically what it'll do is it'll give me a code here for my students in class to go to nearpod.com and then type in this code and then they'll now be in my lesson. So if I switch slides like this, if I go to this uh, second slide here, it'll already take all the students to that lesson or to that sp specific slide uh, and so on and so forth. So if I'm on a specific activity like this defined formative assessment, they will be in that activity too. So that's basically the teacher paced type of lesson. Super easy. Uh, you can always pop out the code. You can do that at any point in time. But what about a student paced lesson? If I just wanna put this inside of Schoology, for example, I can click on student paced here and then I have all kinds of different options here. So let's say I'm gonna launch a new student paced lesson. So we can see that this join code is actually different. It says go to nearpod.com and put this join code in. I could also, if I wanna be a little bit tricky tricky, I could just give them this join code or I can embed this specific lesson inside of uh, Schoology very easily. So I have, for example, I could email it out. I have a social media, I have a link here. Let's just click on embed. And when I click on embed, there's some code that appears here and I can either uh, choose small, medium, or large. I'm just gonna choose medium. You decide which one fits best with what you're trying to go ahead and put inside of your Schoology course or experiment. And it changed the code here at the bottom to have a medium sized, uh, slide presentation, let's call it. So I'm gonna copy that. So I copied that. Let's go into a course here inside of uh, Schoology and I'm gonna press add materials and add a page. And I can call this example embedded, example embed Nearpod. And what I'm gonna do is this right here, I'm gonna switch from this visual to HTML and I'm just gonna paste this code that I got off this area here I copied, and I'm gonna paste it right in here. Then I'm gonna do one more thing because I actually want it to just appear. I don't want my students have to click on it. So I can click this little button right here where it says page, and now it's gonna display it in line. And I'm gonna press create, and then let's scroll down to the bottom of the page and see what it actually looks like. So I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom of this uh, example course here, and here it is. It says example embed Nearpod. It's my presentation. It says, here's my name, and I'm gonna join this session, and then now I can go through this presentation at my own leisure. Does that make sense? Cool. So there's a difference between uh, presenting synchronously as a teacher or asynchronously if I'm just gonna put my materials out there for my students. If you have any questions, let me know. Adios.